Kimi K2 is the most viral model at this particular point. It is an open source model but matches up with proprietary models in terms of performance. In this video, I'm going to show you different ways you can access Kimi K2 for free if you do not have a huge GPU. This video is a quick update about Kimi K2 and then a couple of tests. So to start with, Kimi K2 is a model from China. So everybody is thinking that this is the next deep seek moment. I mean, whether it is a deep seek moment or not, but this is a model that is quite solid. It is hitting the top of leaderboard. The best open source model at this particular point is Kimi K2. And this model has got a good agentic capability. And that makes this model a really good candidate to build agentic use cases on top of this model. There are a couple of benchmarks you can see. Anthropic has scored 72.5 on SWE Bench Verified. So this is called SWE Bench Verified. So this is a bunch of GitHub issues and the model is expected to solve those GitHub issues. And Anthropic is like, you can see it at the top. It is a single attempt, it is 72.5. And Kimi K2, single attempt, Kimi K2 instruct model, not the base model, Kimi K2 instruct model, it has scored 65.8% in a single attempt. You can see the delta, right? This is Anthropic, millions of dollars of funding. And Kimi K2, definitely they've got their own funding, but this model has scored 65.8. And the model is free for you to use. Like literally you can go to Hugging Face, you can go here and then see that this is a slightly modified MIT license and you can start downloading the model and start using it. You can host it, self-host it. You can do whatever you want. You can right away start using the model. One very interesting aspect about this model that has not been discussed a lot is that uh, anytime you have a deep learning model, there is one thing that you would use something called optimizer. It's part of a deep learning pipeline. Anybody who has built a deep learning model using PyTorch or TensorFlow or Keras would know that optimizer is something that people, a lot of people decide at a given point. So Kimi K2, if you know, it is using one new optimizer, which is not very popular at this particular point. It's called Moon Clip. So this is an optimizer that Kimi K2 has used. And since then, a lot of people have started talking about this particular optimizer. So there are like very popular optimizers like Adam W. This is a, Adam is a very popular, like a most ubiquitous optimizer that people uh, widely use. But Kimi K2 uses uh, Moon Clip, uh, the company says our previous work on Moonlight has demonstrated that the Moon Optimizer substantially outperforms the most widely used Adam W Optimizer for LLM training. So it's a large scale training and a new optimizer that they have decided to use here has given them good benefits. So that's something to keep in mind if um, we don't know if new companies will start following this kind of a trend to use Moon Clip Optimizer, but something to keep in mind. So just generally across all the benchmarks this is a good model and in fact very recently we got a very popular benchmark which is ada's benchmark ada is a code editing tool uh, just like your cursor of the world the cloud code of the world on on ada benchmark also this model is like right at the top like top three it is there and it's a very good model now you would have probably heard enough about this model like i'm not going to bore you more with this information but i will suggest one link in the youtube description so if you want to know everything about this particular company hugging face has got a very good guest blog you should go read about this particular model so the company the model everything that you can read now coming to the juice of this video four different places where you can access kimi k2 for free the first place is openrouter.ai you can go to open router and then click chat uh, when you go to Kimi K2, the free page. So you would see Kimi K2 paid and Kimi K2 free. At the time of this recording, unfortunately, it has been rate limited, but you can probably try it out today or tomorrow and then see if it has been removed from the rate limit and then start using it. One reason this company's rate limit is because a lot of people abuse it, so they rate limit it. So you can just go click chat here and then start chatting with this. Uh, but right now it's rate limited, so I can't show you the demo. The second place where you can access Kimi K2 for free is you can actually go to Kimi.com where you can chat with this model. So all you have to do is log in with your Google ID and once you have got, you will get all the information here. So I've got a prompt here, create a 10 item onboarding checklist for a remote software engineer starting next Monday. So it's a very simple prompt, but I want to test, like I want the prompts to be like real world use cases. So assuming that this is like a remote company with limited HR resources, Let's see how Kimi K2 responds back to it. And as you can see here, it's already responding. You can see that it's got the current date information as well. It says July 21st next Monday. It's got a pre-day uh, setup. It says log into Okta, which is uh, an author uh, authorization authentication platform. And then you've got the repo clone and the org chart, buddy introduction. It's a very decent checklist. Uh, for comparison, I asked the same question to gpt 40 and this is what gpt 40 says account setup, device access, software installation, 
and buddy mentor assignment and everything. I kind of like GPT four O's response much better than Kimi K two's. But uh, you can't complain like this is this is again like a quite a detailed one. It's just like a personal choice at this particular point. So you can go to Kimi.com and then just chat with that. Like I think right now it's pretty easy to go chat with that. And it also has got a researcher mode and uh, that is quite rate limited. You can just do five uh, sessions. So this is another place where you can go access Kimi K2. The third place where you can access Kimi K2 is you can go to Hugging Face and then use their inference token and then do it. So what I've done is I've gone to a web application. In this case, it's a Gradio application by a very popular figure on internet, Hassan Khalik, uh, who works for Gradio Hugging Face. So the any coder is like an online single page web development platform. You can go here. You would see a button on the top left that would say that sign in with your Hugging Face account. Once you sign in, it links to your Hugging Face inference, like the limited amount of credits that Hugging Face gives you for free that can be accessed here. So you can develop any single page web application here. So here is my prompt. I said, uh, I want to create a giant spiral galaxy with thousands of glimmering particles. This is a prompt that I got from Victor, who's head of product from Hugging Face, not my own thought. Procedural star, birth, shader, orbital control, camera using three JS. And this is what it gave me. A single shot. I mean, I didn't do anything like literally like a zero shot. All I said is this one. And this is what it gave me. So you can see here, um, the view is okay. I mean, it, uh, it, it looks good. Galactic spiral arms. I can increase to five. I can decrease it to two, one, um, it's quite nice a rotation. I can increase the rotation, stop the rotation. I can increase the particle count. I can decrease the particle count. I can increase the brightness. I can increase the color intensity, a single shot, a single HTML page. Like it's a one HTML page file. You can see here. It was generated using this. So the third way you can use Kimi K2 also programmatically is to use Hugging Faces Inference API. So if you've never used Hugging Face Inference API, let me know. I can make a separate video about how you can use it programmatically, but this is another easy way. Now the fourth way how you can use Kimi K2 also programmatically is using Grok. When you sign up for Grok, this is not Mr. Musk's company. This is Grok with a Q. So this is the company that provides one of the fastest inference for all large language models. So you can go to Grok and then just select playground and then start chatting with the model that you want. In this case, I'm going to just go select Kimi K2. So let me send a user message. Again, I want to just ask a simple question that is like a practical question. Uh, our GitHub Actions YAML fails on node 20. Propose a minimal change to fix. So it should give me a simple proposal. Okay. It says node 20 is not pre-installed. So you can see the entire code. You can copy the code for curl, JavaScript, Python using Grok SDK. You can either access it using Grok SDK if you want, or you can also make it like a, an HTTP request. So if you just copy the curl uh, here, like let's say you don't want to use Grok SDK. All you have to do is go to curl to Python. There's a very popular website. Go here, paste it. You get the code in Python, you get the code in R, whatever you want to do. So if you don't want to use Grok SDK, but if you want to use Grok SDK, you can do that. So all you have to do is get Grok API key, then you can start using it. Limited amount of tokens, but still you get to programmatically play with Kimi K2. And here is the response, right? I'm going to ask the same question here, to be honest. Ask the question. Our GitHub Actions YAML fail. Okay. It's researching. So this is like integrated with tools. So it's going to the web, researching everything getting the answer back and you can see the difference in the speed, right? One is just like going to the LLM, hitting it and then getting the response back. The second one is uh, doing all sort of things that ChatGPT does. Here the token, uh, the latency is quite good. So it generated 233, 37 tokens per second. So the latency is 437 milliseconds, which is quite good if you're developing a product. Now, having said that, there are like four different places where you can use the model, open router, Kimi website, Kimi.com. And programmatically, if you specifically want to use Hugging Face Inference and also use it with any coder if you want to develop applications. And finally, Grok with Q, not Mr. Musk's company. Now I want to do a few tests to show how good the model is. Means that when I tried the model, I felt that th this is definitely like another deep seek moment. I mean, I don't want to call the video like that, but this is definitely high quality. So you can see here, this is honestly the right answer. The actions at checkout, uh, setup node. This is the right answer. So this gave me the right answer because it could browse the internet. Okay. Now to start a new chat, I'm going to ask a couple of questions and I want the questions to be more uh, like practical what somebody would do. 
okay so first of all i'm going to ask a pandas related question i'm going to just ask this question so write pandas one liner that drops duplicate rows except the first and keeping the data frame intact and uh, it says df dot drop duplicates keep is equal to first then the next one is a sql question i'm going to start a new chart this query throws a group by error select depart average salary from so there is no group by um, because you are using an aggregate function you ideally need to use a group by and there is one categorical variable on which you have to use group by because obviously this is a continuous variable and this correctly solved without any fuss very simple so now i want to create a, like content uh, which is one of the most popular use cases on internet with uh, llms generate an seo optimized youtube description description 150 to 200 words for a video title, how to brew a perfect filter coffee. I mean, I live in Bangalore. If you are not familiar with the filter coffee concept, um, it's uh, the dripping coffee, but uh, very popular in South India. So I love filter coffee. So this is an SEO optimized YouTube description. It's a very short one. Um, I'm not sure if it can work together with this. At least we don't have M dashes. Detect AI. It says 100% it is AI, likely AI. I've got a new chart. On a 12 lakh salary, CTC stands for cost to company, draft a monthly 50-32 budget in N, uh, INR in a city like Bengaluru. Send this. Because it has, uh, you know, the localization and other aspects, it decided to call web, get some data, come back and then make the decision. To do a comparison, I'm going to ask the same question to Mr. Foro. I said Mr. Foro because, you know, Whenever I use ChatGPT, Sam Alman comes to my mind. So ChatGPT also decided that it requires internet and, uh, but it is quite faster here. You can see estimated in and salary and uh, it is giving me needs 41,000 rupees, wants 24,600 rupees, savings 16,400 rupees. Very interesting. So this is the split 41, 24, 16. Let's go back to Kimi. 40, 24, 16. I mean, good. 50% uh, uh, 1 BHK rent is 20,000 quite on the expensive side, but it's okay. Eat, eat out and food delivery emergency fund. Not bad. Um, it's doing a good job. I think overall, if you use this model for practical purpose, I believe it might actually, you know, blow your mind. Um, but uh, up to you. Um, you can be always the fan of proprietary models like ChatGPT and Anthropic. But I think we are obliged to appreciate the fact that Somebody has trained a model that companies with millions of dollars of funding train and they never even talk about the size of the model these days. And then there is this company Moonshot that comes along and then open sources this model, like makes it available for everybody to use. People can find tune it, people can build on top of it. And uh, whether you use the model or not, I think it, it requires, it deserves the appreciation. And this video is uh, to show that appreciation for Kimi K2. Let me know what you think about this model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.